Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. lecture we will continue with whatever we have been discussing in the last lecture. So, now we get the rate of change of this epsilon which is either the quaternion or the Euler parameter. So, this will get reduced to a tilde dot sin phi by 2 plus phi dot divided by 2 a tilde sin gets cos and this is cos and eta dot becomes phi dot divided by 2 by 2 with minus 1. Phi dot is nothing but a tilde transpose times omega tilde as proved earlier. So, we use that result and here this is 1 by 2 with minus sign. So, therefore, eta tilde dot now this quantity we can merge together and write this as a tilde times sin phi by 2 transpose times omega tilde and this is minus 1 by 2. So, minus 1 by 2 this quantity is nothing but epsilon. So, this is epsilon tilde transpose times omega tilde. So, this is our eta tilde. Okay. So, this is the fourth element of the quaternion or as the Euler parameter the rate of change of this is given by this quantity. So, if your omega is known and epsilon is known that is the uh, quaternion or the Euler parameter um, vector part. So, then you will be able to estimate this eta dot. Similarly, we have to uh, write this here this is epsilon dot we have already written here okay. and uh, this we can write in a proper way to uh, meet our need. So, a tilde dot we have already got this is 1 by 2 times a tilde cross minus cot phi by 2 times a tilde cross times a tilde cross times omega tilde then sin phi by 2 and then this term 1 by 2 times a tilde times cos phi by 2 and then phi dot ultimately will write in the format a tilde transpose times omega tilde okay. and then we rearrange the terms. So, 1 by 2 common 1 by 2 is common here. So, we will take 1 by 2 outside the bracket sign. We will take here this inside. So, this is a tilde times sin phi by 2 cross and uh, omega tilde is here. So, omega tilde we will keep it outside and rest other things will pull it inside. So, if sin phi by 2 already we have included here and this term then gets reduced to cos phi by 2 a tilde cross a tilde cross ok. Omega tilde we are keeping it outside and then uh, sin has been merged with this. So, this has resulted in this cos and then this particular part. So, this is 1 by 2 we have take already taken outside. So, this is a tilde times a tilde transpose times omega tilde cos phi by 2 and outside we will have omega tilde. So, as we see from this place, 
this quantity is nothing but epsilon tilde so this is epsilon tilde cross minus cos phi by 2 so cos phi by 2 we take this outside the bracket and here we write this as a tilde times a tilde transpose uh, this omega tilde is not there because we are keeping it outside so this is removed okay and then from here this minus sign a tilde cross a tilde cross this equal to omega tilde and if you uh, remember that uh, we have used the result earlier where we have written that a tilde cross a tilde cross equal to a tilde transpose a tilde transpose so for uh, uh, this is a tilde transpose minus i so if you look from this place so this gets reduced to a tilde a tilde transpose minus a tilde cross a tilde cross this will be equal to i okay. so we can utilize this particular equation here in this place so that gives you 1 by 2 epsilon tilde cross minus cos phi by 2 this is nothing but eta so we write it eta and this is the we pick up this i from this place so this is i times omega tilde so our final result is epsilon tilde dot this equal to 1 by 2 times epsilon tilde cross minus eta times i times omega tilde. So, uh, and eta dot this equal to minus 1 by 2 times epsilon tilde transpose times omega tilde. So, if you are uh, working with the quaternions or either the Euler parameters, so you will be using these two equations to propagate the system kinematics means the rotational kinematics. So, omega will be known to you and this omega this enters also into the dynamics of the system. Okay. So, we have uh, proved almost the required things. Now, uh, once we are given this epsilon tilde dot this equal to 1 by 2. Uh, Okay, if, uh, we go back here. Here, uh, this should turn out to be plus. So we have to just look for this uh, plus a tilde, a tilde cross a tilde. E cross C equal to a tilde is one minus i. Okay, so this quantity. If we write it like this, so this equal to a transpose a transpose minus a transpose a cross this equal to i. And here we have, uh, okay, here this quantity is already plus. Okay, we are taking this a transpose a tilde times a tilde transpose. So this is with plus sign. So this is minus sign. So that goes here. So this is a tilde cross. Here this comes with a plus sign. So here we have a plus. Okay. Now with uh, these two equations we can get back omega tilde for that so epsilon tilde dot this equal to 1 by 2 times epsilon tilde cross plus eta times i this is one equation we have and eta dot we have written as minus 1 by 2 times eta tilde transpose times omega tilde. So, if, uh, if we invert this, for inverting it is a very long procedure and uh, but it can be inverted and the simple thing will be just if I once I write this, so I will tell you how to do this. You can verify it.
So, if, uh, the quantity which is appearing here, this quantity, this is nothing but inverse of 1 by 2 times epsilon tilde cross plus eta times i. So, if this is inverse of this quantity, okay, so if we take the product of this, so that must get reduced to an identity form. That means that suppose that we write it like this epsilon tilde this equal to 1 by 2 epsilon tilde cross plus eta i times omega tilde. So, omega tilde just replace from this place. So, this is 2 times eta square i minus eta times epsilon tilde cross divided by eta. Okay. So, this 2 2 will this 2 and this 2 will cancel out and if you take the product of this quantity on the here we have the silent tilde dot. So, the it will get reduced to identity. So, this whole part will be equal to an identity. So, and you will get here epsilon dot equal to epsilon dot. So, which will be then uh, which is the correct thing. Okay. So, this indicates the inverse of this matrix, okay, which we are not going to do here. You just you can try it yourself because this is not very difficult. It is a simple and already we have done, uh, we have carried out proved many identities. So, those identities you can utilize and solve this problem. Okay. So, where we use the following identity. So, what is that identity? So, this is epsilon tilde times epsilon tilde transpose, this will be equal to epsilon tilde cross epsilon tilde cross plus 1 minus eta square i. Had it been a a a a here in this place, so this quantity would have been equal to 1 okay, and we would have got just i here, but here this is epsilon which is the Euler parameter. Okay these are the Euler parameters or the quaternions. Okay. For the quaternion we use the notation q tilde which we are not using here. So, if you use this identity, so then you will be able to prove that this quantity is equal to i means the, this is just an identity matrix. Okay. So, so far uh, we have looked into the kinematics and we will be able to, if you use these results whatever we have derived, you can go forth back and forth from the quaternion notation to the Euler notation um, and Euler notation to the uh, quaternion notation or uh, means from uh, pi dot a tilde dot, we can go into the omega tilde and c or and back and forth, we can just keep jumping from one place to another place. So, uh, as and when what is required, we can prove it. So, if instead of a tilde, here we are using the epsilon tilde for this particular part, the quaternion part. Now, few uh, things which will come in the future also, but uh, right now I want to target it because this is the right time to discuss about this, this omega tilde cross this equal to minus c dot c transpose. And from here uh, what I am trying to uh, do that I will try to get this omega tilde from this place. So, if this quantity is known you can get this and so on. Okay. So, if, uh, now looking on the right hand side let us suppose that c we write as c 1, c 2, c 3 means on any vector if we have the vector x y z. So, this is first it is being rotated about the z axis, this is the z axis rotation, then this is being rotated about the y axis and then the rotation is being given about the x axis. So, if we give this rotation, so this gets reduced to minus d y d t 
C1, C2, C3 and C1, C2, C3 transpose okay. and if we expand it C1, C2 dot C3 plus C1, C2 times C3 dot And here again we have C1, C2, C3 transpose and we can break it and we will get three terms. Okay. So, minus C1 dot C2 times C3 if we multiply with this. So, this will be C3 transpose take the transpose of this C2 transpose C1 transpose minus C1 times C2 dot times C3 times C3 transpose C1 times C2 transpose minus Okay. So, this quantity this is identity if we look C 3 times C 3 transpose okay. uh, this is a rotation matrix. So, this is identity. So, we have C 3 times C 3 transpose this equal to y C 2 times C 2 transpose this equal to y. So, the first term gets reduced to minus C 1 dot times C 1 transpose the second term here will be C 1 times C 2 dot this gets reduced to identity. So, this is C 1 times C 2 transpose minus C 1 C 2 C 3 dot C 3 transpose. Now, uh, we use some results like uh, if we look into the C 1 dot. So, C 1 dot is nothing but your C 1 is nothing but your let us first take C 1. Okay. So, this is C 1. C 1 is nothing but your rotation about the x axis means 1 0 0 0 0 and here if you are writing in terms of theta 1. So, this will be cos theta 1 cos theta 1 sin theta 1 minus sin theta 1. Okay. So, this is rotation about the x axis. So, that this implies if we write the same thing in terms of means you have x, y and z. So, you are rotating about this axis by this is your theta 1 dot along this you are rotating by theta 1. So, this theta 1 dot is pointed along this direction and therefore, the C 1 dot it can be written as C 1 dot is nothing but I 1 times theta 1 dot 0 0 where I 1 is what this I 1 quantity is uh, we will continue to write here only I 1 is 0 uh, sorry this I 1 is 1 0 0 0 0 0 okay. if you multiply this with this one. So, you can see that only theta 1 will result. Okay. So, I 1 picking up from this place and multiplying by this vector. So, this will just re result in theta 1 dot. So, this is a vector uh, which is lying along the first axis here we have written as x, y and z, but basically this is the first axis the second axis and this is the third axis. So, C 1 dot we can replace in terms of ok. So, for what we are going to do now if, uh, we utilize the result. Uh, if you remember that, we will have to go to the next phase, there is no other way here. If you remember that uh, omega tilde dot we have written as uh, going back, this is uh, omega tilde uh, cross this is omega tilde cross omega tilde cross equal to minus c times c transpose. Okay. So, 
following uh, c dot times c transpose. So, following this notation, what we will have? This is the notation about the first axis. Okay. So, this will get reduced to theta 1 dot this quantity then the left hand side we are writing here this equal to minus c uh, we have using 1 c 1 transpose with minus sign. So, we will write it like this plus sign with on the left hand side. So, i 1 times theta 1 dot we know that omega is directed along the one direction and put here the cross. So, this is the quantity. So, minus c 1 dot c 1 transpose we can replace by this. In the same way, we can replace the other quantities like c 2 dot times c 2 transpose this will be equal to i 2 times theta 2 dot cross and minus c 3 dot times c 3 transpose this will be i 3 times theta 3 dot cross. So, basically, we are using this equation. So, this helps us to reduce the previous calculation in terms of uh, theta 1 dot, theta 2 dot, theta 3 dot. So, going into uh, going back into the original equation we have been writing the omega tilde cross this equal to look back uh, minus c 1 times c 1 dot times c 1 transpose. So, this quantity is Okay. So, we will pick up the first quantity this one So, from this place this is i 1 times theta 1 dot cross the next quantity this is c 1 times c 2 dot and similarly we need to break it. So, this quantity lets us expand it here c 1 transpose c 2 dot c 2 transpose times c 1 transpose minus c 3 dot so, this is whole transpose so, c 3 transpose c 2 transpose c 1 transpose. So, these quantities we are going to replace. So, c 1 and c 1 here and in mid between we have this quantity. So, minus sign will absorb with this. So, we get here plus c 1 times i 2 times theta 2 dot times c 1 transpose. Uh, then the next term we have c 1 times c 2 times Similarly, C 3 and C 3 dot with minus sign we will absorb here. This will be written like this. Okay. So, this quantity it can be written as C 1 times I 2 times theta 2 dot cross. Similarly, this quantity can be written as c 1 times c 2 times i 3 times theta 3 dot cross. Okay, and this you can check uh, what we have derived the earlier identities. Now, from here we can put it into the format like the first one then gets reduced to already uh, we have discussed about this. So, if, uh, each of them uh, can be reduced after removing this cross sign. So, these are the three cross sign on the right hand side and this is the cross sign here. So, if we eliminate this, so we can write this as omega okay, because this is operating on certain vector. So, here if, suppose if you operate it on vector nu, so, here also I will have to operate on vector nu. So, this will be omega this cross sign can be taken out of the bracket and we can eliminate altogether this cross sign and nu from both sides. So, omega tilde gets reduced to i times theta 1 dot. So, already we have written 
this will be this quantity okay plus c1 times i2 times theta 2 dot so cross already it's gone and c1 is the quantity which we have written as 1 0 0 0 0 cos theta 1 sin theta 1 and then sin theta 1 with minus sign cos theta 1 and here this quantity is 0 theta 2 dot times 0 and plus this quantity here. So, if, uh, if we if, uh, so we cannot write here uh, ok. So, this third part we will write it here in this place. One zero zero cos theta one cos theta one minus sin theta one sin theta one and this rotation is about two. Okay, so second axis. So this is one zero zero cos theta two minus sin theta two and sin theta two and cos theta two. And then this is being operated on theta three dot. So this is i times theta 3 dot. So, i times theta 3 dot is nothing but 0 0 theta 3 dot. Similarly, the i 2 is nothing but 0 this i 2 this is 0 0 1 0 and i 3 it is a 0 0 0 this is just 1 here and the i 1 already we have written. So, if you now reduce this quantity, so omega tilde will get reduced to now you have to multiply ok multiplying and simplifying. So, omega tilde can be written as 1 0 0 cos theta 2 cos theta 1 times cos theta 2 that is we have combined this term, this term and this term together. So, first what you have to do first you have to take this product after you have taken the product. So, the whole product will come in terms of theta 1 dot theta 2 dot theta 3 dot and then again that product has to be the uh, the whole term has to be written in terms of the matrix as we have written here. So, you can break it. So, this exercise you can do it yourself ok. So, remember that this is a result of the rotation where we have indicated this rotation by c equal to c 1, c 2, c 3 means first rotation about the z axis, then about the y axis and then about the x axis. If you change the order of this rotation, so this matrix is also going to change, it will not remain the same. Ok, so uh, and we will see that in the future. Uh, uh, the same thing can be done in other way also just from the geometry we can do it here just we have used the mathematics and purely from the geometrical point of view we can uh, deal with it. If we take the inverse of this let us say this matrix is we write this as matrix as the R matrix the rotation matrix. So, R inverse times omega tilde this will give you the theta 1 dot theta 2 dot and theta 3 dot and it is a quite often very common in the aircraft at least p q r to write this as means the about the first axis by or the x axis the rotation by p, the y axis rotation by q and this is the r axis rotation by r. This is called the roll rate, this is called the yaw rate and this particular one is called the pitch rate. 
here in the for the spacecraft it will be convenient to work with uh, theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 okay, because this notation once you have defined it will not be confusing and this can be written as once uh, sin theta 1 times this is times tan tan theta 2 then cos theta 1 times tan theta 2 cos theta 1 times sec theta and you can see that this shape theta 2 this is at pi by 2 this shape theta 2 becomes 1 by cos pi by 2 means 1 by 0. So, this is not defined this is not defined at pi by 2. So, this inverse inverse matrix this, this is the R inverse this is not defined at theta equal to theta 2 equal to pi by 2. So, this is the similarity fist. So, here we have omega 1, omega 2, omega 3. Uh, no. We converted it in from um, okay. Uh, this is uh, we have done uh, written the wrong notation here. So, we need to correct it. इसको पूरा कट करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि इस नोटेशन मैंने यहाँ पर गलत लिख दिया है ओमेगा टिल्डा दिस वी हैव रिटेन वन जीरो माइनस साइन थीटा टू सो वंस वी कंबाइन द मैट्रिक्स ओके सो दिस कैन बी रिटेन एस लाइक दिस जीरो कॉस थीटा one sin theta one times cos theta two and this is zero minus sin theta one times cos theta one times cos theta two and times theta one dot theta two dot and theta three dot. So the theta one theta two what they are appearing here so theta one theta 2 and theta 3 these are the Euler angles and on the left hand side what is appearing as omega 1, omega 2, omega 3 this is nothing but your p q r ok. So, this we are writing as this is nothing but the roll rate this is the pitch rate and this is the common notation for this ok and this is the yaw rate terminology used for this p q r okay. or the same thing you also you can write as omega 1, omega 2, omega 3 equal to p q r. Okay. While on the right hand side these are the Euler angles. Okay. So, this is called the azimuth angle. This one is called the pitch angle. and this one it is called the uh, pitch and this is the roll angle. So, uh, roll pitch and azimuth angle or uh, the proper notation for this is the bank angle okay, for the case of the aircraft. So, here in this case uh, if you want you can just say that this is the roll pitch and yaw angles, but this is not the correct uh, term for that the correct term is azimuth angle, pitch angle and the bank angle. And if we invert this, so from here we can get this as theta 1 dot, theta 2 dot, theta 3 dot in terms of omega 1, omega 2, omega 3 and this inversion uh, is left to you to do it yourself in the future again we are going to deal with these equations cos theta 1 times tan theta 2 and 
0 cos theta 1 minus sin theta 1 0 sec theta 2 times cos theta 1 times sec theta 2. theta 2 equal to pi by 2, the S inverse is this is nothing but if you write this as S or R, so this indicates S inverse or R inverse. Okay, so, S inverse is not defined, because at this time this blows up, it goes to infinity 1 by 0, one, this is cos theta 2, so 1 by 0 there that becomes infinity. Okay, so, we have uh, covered the kinematics of the rotational part, little bit uh, things that is remaining. That is about the infinitesimal rotation. This implies that the cases where sin phi can be approximated as phi and cos phi will be approximated as 1. Okay. And if we have the phi square term, so this will approximate as 0, means only the these are the first order term we will consider, first order terms in the Taylor series expansion. And we delete the higher order terms. So, so the, there are cases where the say the satellite is in the orbit and uh, this is what is required that you point towards the center of the earth, center both ways we can write of d earth. Okay. So, you need to precisely point the satellite towards the center of the earth, but it so happens that your satellite is just pointing say away by 1 degree, 1 degree or 2 degree something like this and you want to do the precise control. So, at that term time you can go for this kind of notations. Okay. Though it so happens that sin theta this can be approximated as theta till theta equal to 10 degree, okay. 10, 12 degree you can approximate, but you have to just check that how much uh, according to your need how much error you are. Uh, doing by uh, assuming this kind of uh, approximation. Okay. So, we just quickly go through this part and maybe in another 10 15 minutes we will wind it up. So, c equal to i cos phi, this is the rotation matrix 1 minus cos phi a tilde times a tilde transpose. So, already we know that this is the rotation matrix, uh, if we rotate about vector a by angle phi, so we now if we approximate it, so this gets reduced to i times, you can see that in the Taylor series expansion this will be phi square by 2 plus phi to the power 4 by 24 and higher order terms. then 1 minus 1 plus phi square divided by 2 minus phi to the power 4 by 24 and so on okay. times a tilde times a tilde transpose and this particular part. So, sin expansion then will be phi minus phi plus phi cube divided by 6 phi phi divided by 120 times a tilde cross. Okay. So, if we ignore uh, or either uh, if we collect the terms, so you can see that this and this the, they cancel out and we can collect the term and if we collect and we can write the things like this i minus phi times a tilde cross plus 1 by 2 times phi square 
little dot transpose minus i plus terms of order phi q. Okay. So obviously you can see that if phi square, if I ignore it, so this will be i minus phi times a cross. Okay. Now if we have two rotations, like uh, first rotation we are giving from A to B and the next rotation we are giving from uh, say uh, C to D, though the uh, notation we have used earlier, uh, uh, I do not remember that uh, A to B and uh, perhaps E and something we have used, but right now we will go like this. So, this is a to b and uh, b to uh, sorry we will write this as b to c okay so this is c to b so this rotation we will indicate by phi 2 and uh, a 1 okay while this rotation will be indicated by uh, this is a 2 phi 1 and a 1 tilde okay. so if we multiply these two matrices so, this will be i times cos phi by 2 minus 1 minus cos phi 2 times a 2 tilde transpose uh, this is plus here minus a 2 tilde cross times sin phi 2 and then we have to multiply this with okay this is not cross product this is just simple product. i times cos phi 1 plus 1 minus cos phi 1 a 1 tilde times a 1 tilde transpose minus sin phi 1 times a 1 tilde cross. So, if we multiply it, so this will get reduced into the format, it will come in this format phi times a 1 tilde cross phi 1 times and minus phi 2 times a 2 tilde cross. Okay. So, we are higher order terms second and higher order terms order terms are ignored. So, this is C B E times C B A means this is the equivalent rotation equal to phi 3 about certain vector say a 3 tilde already we have discussed about all these things. So, if, uh, if we will look here in this part, so once we have ignored the second order terms, so here there is no like the uh, terms like a 1 uh, cross times a 2 cross something like that. So, those are non commutative terms here there is as such no terms. So, this implies this implies that this can also be written as C B slash A times C B. Uh, this is again here we have written it wrongly. We need to correct it. This is C uh, C slash B means A to B and then B is rotated to the C position. Okay. So, uh, this we can correct here also. So, this can be written as C B A and C C B. And so, either you change the order of these matrices, this comes first and this comes afterwards, this will not get changed, it will remain same because here the terms like A 1 cross and A 2 cross they are not present. If these terms are together, then we cannot flip it, but here in this case flip it and this impl also implies this implies that implies that <coughs> in finitesimal rotations are commutative. That means, you can change the order of the rotation, but for large rotation 
you cannot do the same for large rotation we cannot do the same then you will be doing the blunder okay uh, if we look for the, the last part uh, that is remaining if we are looking for c1 c2 c3 and we have the infinitesimal rotation so as already uh, we have written this matrix so i will just uh, write it fast here in this place we will write c2 as see here this is the small c2 i am writing here this is capital bigger c2 this is the in the capital notation it's a capital ones and if i write this c2 means this is cos theta 2 if i write c1 this is means cos theta 1 okay similarly s1 it will indicate sin theta 1 and s2 will indicate sin theta 2 so we can write here compactly so this is c2 c3 okay these are the matrices okay yes c1 c2 c3 are matrices while these are scalars as per this then c2 s3 minus s2 okay for infinitesimal rotation now you can see that already we have stated that if theta is small so this can be a proxy cos is can be approximated as 1 so this term gives you 1 here this is 1 and this is theta 3 here minus theta 2 okay here in this place this is theta 1 times theta 2 this is second order term so this is ignored this is 0 and therefore this term gets reduced to 0 what about this term this is minus s3 c1 is 1 so this is minus s s3 which equal to minus theta 3 and this term again this term is 0 and this term is 1 so here we get 1 about this term this is theta 1 and here uh, this is this term is 0 c1 and c3 they are 1 1 so this gets reduced to theta 2 and here if we check uh, this is this term is 0 and this is minus theta 1 and this is 1 1 so this gets reduced to 1 so you can see that this 1 is here so this can be written as 1 1 1 0 0 0 okay mm, then uh, minus 0 minus theta 3 theta 2 then theta 3 minus sign will be taken outside 0 minus theta 2 theta 1 and this is 0 so that gets reduced to i minus this is uh, your uh, skew symmetric matrix so if, uh, we use the notation for this uh, as theta tilde cross this is not omega tilde okay so if, uh, here so this is because these are the angles okay so we'll write in terms of theta tilde cross where where theta tilde this equal to theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 Okay, so therefore the theta tilde across this is written in matrix notation so this will be nothing but this skew symmetric matrix so what we get as for the finite uh, infinitesimal rotation the rotation matrix gets reduced to i minus theta tilde cross and this is a very useful rotation uh, this uh, result which we will be using while discussing the stability of the satellite so uh, thank you very much
So uh, we have uh, finished uh, the rotation and the um, kinematics of the rotation and next we are going to start with uh, the rigid body dynamics. So next class one words, so uh, we will be continuing with the rigid body dynamics, okay, thank you.